we're gonna see this crazy video now before i get into the video let me give you the backstory okay what the, the part the video doesn't show this is what happened december 2nd okay december 2nd according to one of the witnesses at the scene i believe it was a boyfriend girlfriend and a friend or two friends maybe it might be four people i don't know all the details but apparently they're driving a vehicle in alabama okay i don't know if they're coming from somewhere else we don't know all the details driving to, driving through alabama they get a flat tire so apparently a man or maybe two men get out to try to change the tire as they're changing the tire the police officer pulls up all right and um the officer the officer's name is what's her name dana elmore okay she's with the um reform believe it or not what an irony in this name the reform police department okay let me pull up a picture i'm gonna give you the backstory then we'll we'll go ahead and we'll play the videos i want you to see all the characters and understand what's going on and then we'll go through the video the video is short the video is short so let me uh share the screen all right okay lord have mercy Oof. This woman here got a face only a mother can love, okay? This is Dana Elmore. She is with the Reform Police Department um, out in Alabama, okay? That's another thing we got to talk about. We got to talk about these rural police departments and sheriff's departments out in these old sundown towns in this country. We got to talk about them because a lot of them are still operating like it's damn uh, 1619. <laughs> Someone says she looks like Beetlejuice. <laughs> no, you know what she who she looks like, really? You know who she Y'all not gonna guess. What what's the name of that movie? With the clown. You know that movie with the clown? That she looked just like it, bro. She looks just like it. Not even trying to be funny. Don't she look like it? Someone said the Adams family. Yikes. Morticia. <laughs> Trey said she looked like Morticia. <laughs> so this is, yeah, she looked like it. She looked like it. I'm about to pull it for Tales of the Crypt. Jeepers keep creepers on this one. Lord have mercy. Um, Listen, this lady here, Officer Elmore, and it's almost like a man. Lord, I, no, ain't no telling, right? Ain't no telling, but um, Nosferatu. <laughs> Y'all are stupid. <laughs> Not Nosferatu. Lord have mercy. Uh, Roger from American Dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone pull up Roger from American Dad. <laughs> oh my. Y'all, we supposed to be watching this video. Why are we clowning this woman? Hold on. Roger from American Dad. Yikes. Oh, my God. Y'all are wrong. Y'all are wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all are wrong for that. <laughs> oh. Yikes. Y'all ain't, ain't got no damn sense. Not Roger from American Dad. Is that who y'all talking about? Yeesh. Oh my God. Um. Yeah, she she looks she looks rough. She looks rough. Um, she looks rough. So, so Elmore, according to according to the media, um, news the news article I was reading, she pulled up. And I don't know what her reasoning was. They were actually changing a tire, according to the witness. And the witness is the girlfriend of the victim, okay? She's saying they're changing a tire, and the officer approached them. This lady approached them in reference to suspicious activity. Now, I don't know how clear that is. The police department hasn't released any official statement. But this is what they're saying from the witness, what the witness is saying that she stopped them for suspicious activity. I don't know what's suspicious about changing a tire on the side of the road. Nonetheless, okay, nonetheless, that is how this interaction happened. 
This wasn't a traffic stop. Um, this wasn't a, uh, a 911 call. It wasn't any of that. This was simply a situation where she saw something, she felt it was suspicious, and she decided to get out and speak to, uh, and speak to them, right? Now, um, the question is, how did we go from doing a traffic stop well, correction, looking at someone changing a tire to them now having a taser in their back and then being tased. When you guys watch this video, you're going to be disgusted. You're going to be disgusted. Not only that, this video is dehumanizing. It's, it's disrespectful. It's unprofessional. And you see this, it's like a sense of wickedness coming off of this officer on how she is talking to, treating, and the unnecessary actions and the words that are being used. Um, so we're going to get into it. So this is what ended up happening. This is the victim. Now. During her investigation, she finds narcotics, okay? I don't know how or what, we don't know. We don't know the details to that extent. But ultimately, he ends up getting charged with, um, he ends up getting charged with trafficking, okay? Trafficking. So the question is, how did we get here? All right, how do we get here? So let's go through the article real quick and then I'm gonna play the play the video. So um let me see a couple of things I just wanna I wanna touch on just before we get started. Oh, and he was in possession of a firearm. Okay, he had a gun in his pocket. That's another thing. He had a gun in his pocket during the um after he was arrested, he was it looked like from the video that we see that he was cooperating. He had a gun in his pocket. She was able to get the gun from him. Apparently, he is a convicted felon, so he's not supposed to have a firearm, all right? But even, even with all that being said, um, and that's her right here. <laughs> so it's a be Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, right? So that's her right here. Um, let me see if we can get the rest of the article. What happened? Hold on. Something froze on me. Where are these computers? Hold on, let me see if I can fix this. Mm. Always something when I act up. Always. Oh, page unresponsive. Okay. All right, I guess we'll wait. So basically, um, he had a gun on him. And through the end of her investigation, she ends up finding a, um, some drugs. And I got to go and find out what the list of drugs are because now the article is not coming up. Let me see. Jeez, always something. Right, let me see. Uh... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Let's see. Let me see what drug we'll find out. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let me pull this back up. Here we go. Okay. Um okay, so because during that altercation he was charged with obstruction. Governmental operation, resisting arrest, marijuana possession, drug trafficking, and being an ex felon in possession of a firearm. Okay. His bond, wow, 500, basically half a million dollars. His bond is half a million dollars. So, <clears throat> again, we don't know why or how her investigation led to this. The only thing I can think of is maybe she smelled the marijuana. 
but he's being charged with uh, drug trafficking. Okay, that's a big, big, big charge. And we're going to look at the charge as well and go over the actual charge so you guys can understand what is the charge for Alabama. Um, what what does that actually mean? And what are the elements needed to be charged with trafficking? So that's a big, big charge. And I wonder, and trafficking is decided based on the amount of drugs that you have and the fact that you are actually going from state to state, right? Like you're like, okay, I'm in Georgia and I'm trying to bring drugs from Florida to Georgia. So then I get pulled over in transit with that. And I have a large amount, like a kilo or something or a couple pounds. And then, then you could be charged. Then you could be charged with trafficking. All right. So I wonder how much drugs he had on him. So that's the thing. They're not sharing that information. They're not sharing that information at all. So we don't know. Um, let me let me delete this because the thing is slowing down. All right. How are we looking? All right. So let's go ahead and play the video. Warning. I'll say graphic video. Um, it's no bleeding, but uh, it is hard to watch for some people. So just FYI before I play it. Um, and it's not a long video, but let's go ahead and go ahead and add it back to the. Right there in the front of the car. Straight street. I don't got, I ain't doing shit, but I got gun right there. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm saying what you saying. Oh, yeah, fuck. I'm not. Oh, my God. Fuck up. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, damn, damn. Oh, my fuck. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, you want it again? No, man. Shut the fuck up. You was big and bad. Shut your bitch ass up. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. She said you big and bad. Shut your bitch ass up. Um, <clears throat> you guys, that is. I agree with I agree with you, Millennial. I, I thought this was a skit. When I heard this and I was watching it, because again, social media now, you guys, everybody is. Everybody's playing these, these, uh, they're making these little fake videos to get clout, to try to, you know, get their viewers up. And I watched this video and I was like, oh, this is somebody doing a little prank video again. And I found out, I did a little research, found out it was real. And it was very disturbing. This was very, very disturbing to watch for a lot of diff a, a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons. You're gonna you're gonna have a hard time making an argument to anybody that this wasn't racist, right? That this wasn't racially motivated. I wouldn't even come here and try to make that argument at all. What did we see in this video? Um, you know, watching this and going back, I'm like, man, this outside of the ego, outside of her God complex. To me, I saw a woman trying to um, dominate a man, right? I, I saw a woman wanting to dominate a man. Like, I, like I'm watching it and I see a broken woman, like on some, I had some issues, the childhood type of woman, right? This is, this is what I'm seeing play out. I'm seeing a broken woman who was, who is, her actions are a reflection of her insecurities, her actions are a reflection of her um, her dislike, her issues with men. I, I just, I don't know. I just, I see a lot in this, a lot. It, it's so disturbing. It, you almost look at it like this is some sort of dominatrix thing, right? That this is a, a woman trying to buck break a man, you know? She did everything short of pulling out a, a toy, right? Like she was, like she was in her mind, sodomizing him, 
right? That's that's what I see when I see this. I'm, I'm seeing a woman wishing she can sodomize him. She's emotionally trying to sodomize him. That's what I see. Shut your bitch ass up. Like, who, what? <laughs> like, who says that? Yeah, like, she's getting off on this. Like, this is, like, this is, like, ma'am, this is not your bedroom. You know, like, that's, that's the vibe that I got, that this, she forgot that she's not at home. This isn't your private club, right? Where you're, you're, you're dressed up in your black gear and your whips and your chains. And you get to dominate over men, stepping on their penises and shit, right? That's what I got from this. She forgot where she was at. Ma'am, this is this not one of your little cuck husbands, right? Like, this is not one of those. <laughs> this ain't Adam 22, right? This, is, this was so disturbing, you guys, to watch. So disturbing to watch. And it was... You know, as men, you know, we talk like this to other men on the street, which is like, man, shut your ass up. Right? Like we we'll say things like that to like as officers, stuff. man, shut your ass, you know. But this right here, the way she said it, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's like this emotional conviction, right? Like there was this this it felt it was like this visceral passion. Like it was a I don't know how to describe it, but she really meant it. Like she was really into it. Like this. Motherfucker was role playing. And look how she's grabbing his head. He's not doing the thing about this. He's not doing anything. Right? Like, I think the, the whole premise of this is he's not doing anything. He's already in handcuffs. You can't do that. Right? Like she was really getting off on this. Yo, this is sick. It's sick, you know, and, and I see a sick woman mentally sodomizing a man. Some call it buck breaking. The way she, the language and the conviction behind the language, you guys, she's sick. She's sick. And it's, and to me, it's so obvious. It's so obvious. You're talking about not resisting. You know, uh, I would love to 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 hear a uh, psychologist break this video down. Everything from her body language, the choice of words, the tone. Yes, the tone that she used, the the tone, the passion behind the tone, the aggression, the way she's holding his head down, pressing his head down. She gives him a little jolt. He's not even moving. Yeah, yeah, bop, 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 bop. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Get, get, bend over. Yeah, you guys. She's she's she went into character. Look at look at what she said. Stay still. Look at that. Stay still. Could you could you stay stay still? That's prison talk. That's prison talk. You talk to these guys in prison, how they sodomizing these guys. You guys, if you never interview, I've talked to these guys. They'll tell you how it's, yeah, yeah, stay, yeah, yeah, but bend over, stay still. Don't, don't even look, don't look at me. Yeah, yeah, hold, hold it up, hold them up, right? That's how they talk. Look at how she's talking. Stay still, stay still, stay still, take this. And you sitting back, can, can you please put some lube on? Shut up, shut your mouth. That's how she talking. That's how she talking. This shit remind me of uh damn, what was that? Pope fiction. Pope fiction. You guys listen, this is this right here. This is this is disturbing. This is disturbing. And I wouldn't be surprised if we found out that, or let me not say that. I've seen situations like this, women treat men like this, or they, they come off this way. I've seen cases where women have been sexually abused by men. And that's where that, that masculine aggression to want to uh, dehumanize men, 
as a way of trying to get back for what was done to them. You know, because again, and again, we're speculating, but the video is the best evidence. Stand, stand still. Like, wow. Wow. I ain't doing shit, but I got good right there. Not doing <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, 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 yeah, daddy. Oh, yeah, big daddy. We found it. Oh, we got a good one. Oh, it's tight. Oh, yeah. Look at it. She's excited. She's getting her rocks off on this. Oh, oh, yeah. Listen, she's out there by herself. And apparently there were other people out there. I don't see no backup. She's not waiting for anything. She's very confident, right? Very confident. You know, I don't even know if she has a body cam. I don't, I don't, I don't think she has a body cam. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if she initiated this whole thing with her gun out. Because remember, when this video started, he's already laying on the ground handcuffed. Right? When this video starts, he he look, he's already in handcuffs, you guys. So this whole thing is done. This whole thing is done, and guess what? She waits till he gets over to the car before she gets the gun out. I believe he already told her that he had a gun in his pocket. He's been cooperating the entire time. So she knew he had a gun. He's cooperating. He laid down his hands behind his back. Honestly, if he wanted to fight her, she wouldn't stand a chance, right? Like, let's just be real. He's a big guy. He's like over six feet tall. I think he's 24 years old. Um, and his name is uh, Michael, what is his name? Uh, last name Washington. Last name Washington. Micah Washington. All right, I believe he's 24 years old, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so he's cooperating. Now, Who's recording? Someone's asking. His girlfriend. His girlfriend's recording. And again, here you have him. He's cooperated. No fighting, no resisting. Up to what we can see from where this video is being recorded. We don't see it. I'm pretty sure he was probably talking trash. Everybody talks trash. Again, that's not against the law. All right. Look, look, look how she's holding him. Right there on the front of the car. Stay straight. I don't got, I ain't doing shit, but I got gun right there. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm saying, what you saying? Oh, yeah, fuck. I'm not. Oh, my God. Fuck up. Okay, okay. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? No resisting, no assaulting. He lifts his head up to, to be like, okay, damn, okay, you found a gun. All right, what's the big deal? Chill out. And she, nah, 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 nah. right? Power trip. Power trip. Someone said, is this real? Yeah, it's real. It's real. I thought this was a skit. This is so crazy. I thought this was a skit. I, I didn't think it was real. I didn't think it was real. And she tased him for no reason at all. Why did she tase him? He lifted his back up off the, he lifted his back slightly, his chest slightly off the, the, the hood of the car, addressing her about the gun. <laughs> and look, look, first of all, her excitement. Oof. I'm telling you right now, you're not gonna be able to convince anybody that this wasn't racially motivated, that her actions weren't racially motivated. You're just not. You're not. Look at her. She She's acting like she caught a slave that ran away without his papers. Listen, don't shoot the messenger. I'm telling you what it looks like. Oh, oh look at what we got here, Susie Ann. We, we got us a, we look like we got us a nigga that ran away. Who, who, who don't got his papers? Look at, look at what she says. Oh, yeah. I'm saying, what you saying? Oh, yeah, fuck. I'm not, oh, my God. Fuck up. Okay, okay. 
Okay, 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 I'm down, down. Oh, my fault. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. And the language that she uses, shut the fuck up. And he's like, my bad. My, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. This, this, is, <laughs> this is equivalent to torture, right? One could argue, you can make the argument that she's torturing him. Say another word, I'm going to tase you again. Say, say something else. Say something else and I'm going to give you this taser. You guys, I, I think she's getting off on this. You want, you want it again? Could you imagine? She's holding his head down. Oh, you, 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 you want it again? I slide in deeper. That's what she's saying. You guys, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. You want it again. Man, what did I do? What did I do? Head down and the taser in my back. You want it, you want it again? No, man, please, please. Oof. My God, look at this. No, man. Shut the fuck up, you was big and bad. Shut your bitch. No, man. You want it again? No, man. Shut the fuck up, you was big and bad. Shut your bitch ass up. Wow. He about to get paid. You guys, he's about to get paid. You know how people get paid because of the stupidity of police officers? He's going to get paid, you guys. It doesn't... Someone asks, well, what happened? We need to know what happened in the beginning. You don't need to know a damn thing that happened in the beginning. You don't even need to know what happened yesterday or tomorrow. It don't matter. What you see right there, you cannot do. It doesn't matter what happened in the beginning. It doesn't matter what happened in the beginning, you guys. You can't do that. You can't do that. We don't even know if this stop is even legitimate. We don't even know if she had probable cause to even pull him away from the car in general. We don't know. We know suspicious activity you're not going to be able to articulate with him changing a car tire. How do you go from changing a car tire to putting him in handcuffs? You have no probable cause to investigate anything. Now, the only thing I can think of the only thing I can think of is the odor of marijuana. If, in fact, they did, according to this news article, that they got m marijuana out of the car. If she pulled up, maybe he was going to go in the system with the, uh, the change in the tire and she smells a strong odor of marijuana. You guys, that gives her probable cause to investigate. Okay? Say she finds the marijuana in plain view. That gives her probable cause to investigate. And through that investigation, she handcuffs him. He cooperates. She finds out he has a gun. And guess what? She searches the car. She finds other drugs, right? They got him for drug trafficking. Meaning he had to have been carrying a whole lot of marijuana. Now, I got to go check the code section, though. Right? I don't know what else is in there. But that's the only way that can evolve into an actual legitimate a, a legitimate stop and a legitimate arrest. Now... Even if it's legitimate, it still doesn't mean that you can use excessive force. You could have a legitimate reason to be there, have a legitimate reason to do your job, investigate everything properly. Then you put the handcuffs on them and then you start using excessive force. You've just diminished everything that you did in the beginning. This is how officers can be starting off right and in wrong. And from what we see, the moment the handcuffs are on, he's not even resisting arrest. At best, you guys, what I, what probably happened, he was probably talking shit. More than likely, he was talking shit. And she got in her feelings. And what you see after that is her now trying to enforce the law through her emotions, through her ego. Through her ego. But... He never, from what we see, he never assaulted her. For her to use that level of force, which was unnecessary, unreasonable, 
Lawsuit. Lawsuit. They charged him with drug trafficking, obstruction of uh, government operations, resisting arrest, marijuana possession, and being a felon in possession of a firearm. His bond is $500,000. Jesus Christ, you guys. That's a violation of my constitutional rights right there. Excessive. Excessive bond. Excessive. I know murderers whose bond amount ain't that high. I know rapists and killers whose bond amount is not. I know people who shot and killed cops whose bond wasn't that high. See, and this is the stuff people have an issue with. And I'm right there with them, you guys. I'm right there with y'all on it. These are the things that have to stop. The question is, how do you stop it? Right? The question is, how do you stop it? That is the million dollar question. The criminal justice system in every inch, in every area of the criminal justice system, there is an area that need to be fixed. There's corruption that happens on each level of the criminal justice system. You hear about it. And this is one of them. I'm working a case right now out in Florida, you guys. Wait till you hear about that. Wait till you hear about that case. And it's always these small, remote towns and areas where the police and the uh, the DA's office, these the judges, they get away with murder. They get away with abusing authority, you guys. Mm. Ridiculous. Let me tell you something. I'd be sitting, if that was that brother right there, Micah, Listen, Micah, tell your attorney to call me. You know, they've been hiring me lately for these type of crazy ass cases. Hire me, please. Okay, please. I am a law enforcement expert, mitigation expert. Hire me on your, on your team and I'll make sure, I'll make sure this thing is dealt with properly. You know, I would love to have a job where you guys know I do consulting. I would love to have a job where I can go to police departments and clean up their damn mess. And then also fortify to ensure that the citizens are getting what they're supposed to be getting. 